is called Shires. This one is called Leicestershire. It isn't spelled. Eivor! In here! What will you keep in this room? My finest weapon. For this room is yours. Here you may lay your head, hang your axe, or be alone with your thoughts. Do you like it? It suits me well, but I would be just as happy lodging with the raiders on the wharf. I need no special treatment. This is not special treatment. I want you here in the longhouse, close at hand. I may be the Jarl of this clan, but you and I lead together, as ever. So get acquainted with your room, and when you're ready, meet me at the stables. A letterbox for messages and requests. Hmm. A bed better than many I have slept in, and a good place to recover. Hmm. Not much, but it is mine. to ride at a moment's notice. Count on it, my friend. The path ahead is bright. With glory at its end. Farewell, Eivor. But why now? Dark, please. This must be... What was that about? Is Basim leaving us already? Sigurd means to leave as well. Is that true? We know the sons of Ragnar have camped in the north. It would do us well to pay them a visit, to strengthen our ties to this land. Is that where Basim has gone? Basim's motives are his own. Leave it at that. We have more pressing plans. I am riding to Leicestershire, to a town called Repton. Eivor, I expect you to join me when you have finished here. I can come now. I only need a horse. Not yet. First speak with Randy. She has more than one task for you here. Apart from growing this settlement, you must seek out alliances as well. We cannot pacify England with so few friends. Then I must join you, Sigurd, for I am a fitter companion on long roads. No, Dag. You belong here with the raiders, and you will act as Eivor commands. Ride in safety, brother. I will follow as soon as I can. Yes, and I will keep our raiders sharp. as Eivor commands. Is he testing me? He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. I would sooner take orders from a louse. My stable is a bit spared just now, but if you can build me something better, I promise you the finest of beasts. A bustling stable would be a great boon here. I'll see what I...
There you are. You wanted to see me. As Sigurd has so ordered, it falls to us to expand our presence in England. He wants to forge alliances, ironclad, with every Norse, Dane, and Saxon here. Right. We are the outsiders here. Making friends will help. Where do we start? My scouts come and go daily with interesting news and tidings, and I'm beginning to get my bearings in this fractured land. As I learn more, I can give you insight into each territory before you commit to a journey there. Of course. Once you have gained an ally in a territory, return home and speak to me. We'll decide your next move then. I understand. So where do we start? You have two options just now. Join Sigurd in Leatherchestershire to the north and meet with the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok, or head south to Grantebridgeshire to meet an army of Danes led by one Guthrum Jarl and his second, Soma. I should add, our young friend Hytham has been conferring with his own contacts in the cities. His research could be useful in winning us alliances throughout the cities of England. Speak with him and see what he needs. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me about Grandebridgeshire. A force of Danes, called the Summer Army by the Saxons, is camped north of Grandebridge at some ruins across the river. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma, if we hope to win their trust and allegiance. My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. Consider this a starting point. I will leave right away. Good. And may the blessings of Freya follow.
Oh my brother! Die! Don't make me angry! I need your eyes, my friend.
Randy mentioned this place. The last known location of the Summer Army. A friend and ally. I'm looking for the Summer Army. <laughs> Camp leader is up top. You can't miss him. happened here? Who is asking? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Did you and your men fail to take the village? No. No, we had it for a time. It was nothing but a cluster of waterland daub huts when we came. We made it lively. Grantbridge was a thriving hub of trade and song under the care of Suma Ayalskona. But the Saxons took it back. They appeared within the city as if rising from the shadows and drove us out. They just appeared in the city. It was like they burst out of the center of the city itself, setting aflame everything in their path, shouting some nonsense about an ancient order of warriors. By the time I saw the fires, too many of us were killed or captured. Our Yasko Masuma. She bellowed the retreat and we took refuge in the ruins. But in the chaos, we were separated. She and the bulk of our forces fled northeast into the swamps. I'd follow if we were fit to. We need her iron fist. I can find Soma. Be ready when we return. She'll be deep in the fog of the Fenlands by now. Find her longship. That's your best bet.
do you see? I should not be seen in this area. Drove those Danes from Grandbridge like cattle. <laughs> Slaughtered them like cattle too. Shame we have to take prisoners at all. They'll live just long enough to serve as an example to the others. Lord Wigman's wrath is as grand as it is swift. <laughs> Stop. Ah! Spread out. Tell this. Ah! Markings. You're welcome.
Thank you enough, friend. Is your Yal's corner nearby? Not here. Shoma dragged the Saxons east from her longship to tire them out you and lose them in the fog. Things. Cast about this land, my friend. This was a fine longship, fit for a chief. It must belong to Soma.
You're still in fighting shape. Take him to the shelter for warmth. Slap some moss in that gash and wrap it well. Egil. Egil, look at me. Remember the boars you felled our first day in England. Hold his arms. Nine. Large and fat. Fed us for a week. Yeah. 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 You'll be chasing more in a month, my friend. You come like a Valkyrie out of the fog. But we have no dead to give you. You must be Soma. Let's talk elsewhere. Give them a chance to rest. Quite a hit you took. How many were lost? It's kind of you to ask, but with so much blood in the water and death on the air, I'd know your name and purpose first. Eivor of the Raven Clan. I came for you looking for a friend, an ally. I see. I'm Soma, Lord of Grandbridge. Though it seems an order of lunatics wishes to strip me of that title. The Order of the Ancients. Sounds right. The Saxon called Wigmund is one of them. He robbed me of my city, forced us into these swamps. I've rallied some of my soldiers, but my three advisors are missing. If we hope to retake Grantbridge, I'll need them at my side. Tell me about them. They are my best, my inner circle. Birna, Galin, leave. We may as well be of the same blood. If I can reunite them, and we retake your city, can I call you a friend and ally? If you can do all that, you can call me whatever you want. Who is this Wickmund? And what does he want? He's a flailing elderman under the old king. A bitter man digging his fingernails into Grant Bridge, just to say he can. He's made many attempts to unseat me before. This time he managed a trick. What happened to Grant Bridge? The elder man Wigman seized it from us. I'm not sure how he managed, but he will not keep it. Not for long. He has supporters outside the city. But this attack seemed to come from inside the walls. From the heart of Grant Bridge. Let's find your advisors. Agreed. We'll look for signs of their longboats along the river. And if we are swift, we will find them before the wolves do. The fog is more hindrance than hiding place now. Let's light the way back. Hot, bright wolf of the branch, and guide Soma's gilded warriors home.
know what you must think. What must I think? That it's foolish to search defense. You... This way. Yeah. That it's foolish to search defendants for so few people. You told me the soldiers who... You told me the soldiers you lost were your best. Vital to retaking the city. You think it's foolish? Not at all. Then why would I? You have the look of one who does well with solitude. You're alone, a wanderer. It may be you think of soldiers as war fodder and little else. But these warriors are more than a blade and shield. They are my family, nothing short. I've lost a city this week. I will not lose them too. I understand. And if your people yet live, you will find them. Stretch your wings sooner. Wolves. They've surrounded someone. Must be careful. I don't deserve this. Leave me. Run. Alan, you look terrible. What happened here? Saxons chased me into the fog, ran me smack into a nest of bandits. But Freya was on my side, and I saw them before they saw me. Are you the only one of your crew left standing? I am. And hardly standing myself. But with the blessings of Odin and Freya, they'll be feasting well with the gods. I've set a camp not far from here, marked by a beacon. Go there, Galen, and recover. Eivor and I will find the others. I'll head back to camp, and as I recover, I'll watch over the rest with a care that only Freya knows.
He's a serious man, Galen. Yes. And a man of the gods. He carries them around and... Survey the area, Sunan. He carries them around in his mind as a tree bears its branches. It makes his mind heavy. It makes his mind heavy, but it keeps our spirits light, knowing the gods give us favor. A group of Danes held captive. from the tree in the city square.
Not with the wind. You have done sake. right. If you would be so kind, I've had quite the day. Look through the fog, Leaf. Follow the beacon. Our camp Always is at its kind. base. We'll Thank return you. when we found the others. We'll head straight to the camp and see that everyone's shipshape when you return. Leaf and Galen <laughs> didn't always get along, but they've bonded since we took Grand Bridge. Sour blood between them, in a way. Both considered themselves my second, and hated the other four. But I do not rank my family like I do my horses. Competition can mar the love between siblings for life. It can also bring out the best in people, if the fire is stoked right. Leif and Galen didn't always get along, but they've bonded since we took Grand Bridge. Sour blood between them, in a way. Both considered themselves my second. Don't what do you see? In a way. Both considered themselves my second. hated the other four, but I do not rank my family like I do my horses. Competition can mar the love between siblings for life. It can also bring out the best in people, if the fire is still caught. I must be careful now. Saxons surrounding that old hut. There may be Danes trapped inside. This longboat is Birnus, I think. All scraped and bashed, it's hard to tell. Here's a poem about Birna. Jesus, 
what's happening. I've got You'll suck my toes when I'm standing on your head. That's Birna, for sure. If my head was in a bucket of water, I'd still know. Good lord. Why the force? What's going on? I heard someone sweeping the hearth outside. We handle it just fine. They can go starting a new tower, in fact. This house is... Follow on, Birna. Leif and Galen are safe at the camp we've made. Eivor, you meet us there when you're ready. Thank you so much. And you as well, Sambi.
of the world over here good warrior uh, hi stranger excuse me I have a slight pain do you notice anything on my head it's a uh, an itch or a cut that simply won't go away it appears to be a a battle scar ah as I suspected. It must be from my most recent battle. You should see the other man. He got the worst of it. Worse than... I suppose it's possible, yes. If he is headless. My arms are numb from battle. Does it need any dressing? Do you think it is a serious wound? I feel it is a small wound for a warrior as great as you. Nothing but a twig stuck near your brow. Ah, yes. Thank you for telling me. And your keen eye on discerning a fellow great warrior. I can take it off, the twig, if you like. Of course. When you have a moment, just brush it off. You know, there's a great mead hall nearby. All your enemies have been slain. Now you rejoice.
think you're doing? The beacon has drawn the last of my soldiers. By tomorrow our strength will have returned, and we can retake our city. I have not yet spoken to Leif, Birna and Galen about this. After my missteps, I worry what they must think of me. That won't be on their minds. They'll be dreaming of all the ways they want to kill the Saxons who took their homes. By Thor's hammer, I am glad we're together. In spite of our setback, Galen, you look... well worn. Do not grieve the men you lost. They will be singing your praises in the corpse hall, waiting for us. Thank you, Jarl's Corner. Leif, you'd outlast any tempest. It's good to be back, Soma, all as one. And know this, that I will follow you through the eye of the storm if you called. Birna. I'm delighted you're alive. I'm delighted to be living. I lost so many after all this, but I still have you three. That makes me the most blessed warrior in Midgard. And Eivor, you have more than proven your worth. Help us reclaim our city, and you will have an ally in me. My blade is yours. For Grandbridge. We'll rest for the night. Gather our strength and our wits, and at the break of dawn's light, we retake Grand Bridge! Pass the night in our camp, Eivor. Take anything you need. Looks like more of Soma's forces followed the beacon back to camp. Leif, Soma says you're the man who built her longships. That's right. Each has a sharp keel, a stout mast, and a poem etched into the hull to sing the praises of the Dringer who commands her. A longship is heavy with fate. Just a few lengths of wood between you and a watery grave. 
What better place to put a line of poetry, hmm? Agreed. It's good to fight beside you, Leaf. Likewise, Ava. Thanks again for plucking me and my warriors from the mire. Galen, is that right? That's right. And you are Eivor, the infinite fighter, a forever warrior. It's a glorious name. Many thanks. You were in a tight spot when we found you. Indeed. The Saxons pursued me, ran me bloody through the swamps and into the lap of bandits. And the wolves came. We all have our one day, the day we die. How you greet that day is all that matters. I'm proud to say that I was ready. Well, it's good to see you breathing still. You are Vienna. And you are Eivor's sunbeam. You cut through the fog like the sun burns through ice. You're in high spirits, all things considered. The ambush. Losing your home. In this moment, yes. But ah, you feel that? The moment has passed. We are free to pursue the next. What a gift! It is good to have you in this fight, Birna. I like you, Eivor. You may help me here, or step on me. And by the look of you, I'd welcome either. The day is new, and the air is bracing. Are you ready for the fight ahead? Let's take your city back. That's what I like to hear. Meet me at the western gate of Grantbridge. We've assembled there. Have care you do not enjoy taking orders from anyone but your Jarl back home. I fight for Sigurd, none else. While you're on this ship, Dag, you fight for me. And for Soma's loyalty, we fight for her. One on each side of the door. Move when you get a signal and not a moment before. Wakeman must know it. to me, Wigmund. No more of our people need die. We may talk this out, lord to lord. <laughs> what are we to talk about? You have nothing I need. Worth by birth, even. I was born a noble. You were plucked from a giant's armpit. I built this town. From a mud hut to a thriving port. And we both know you'll bleed those riches dry without my guiding hand. Leave! Go die in the muck where you belong, heathens! Wigmund, 
Wigman, let's try one final time. Quit Grantbridge. And when she is mine once more, I may spare your life. Ha! I command Grantbridge. I am master here. And I will scour you rats from this land like rot from a festering wound. Let me give you some advice, old bear. The surest way to stop a wound from festering isn't with a blade. It's with fire. <laughs> now, Danes of Grandbridgeshire, retake what's yours. What has Whitman done to us? No time for that. We must free her first. Prisoners, no mercy. We keep our wits about us. So mad. The waters have calmed here. Go on. I weather the last of these whelps. You'll never survive. We'll take it. Remain steadfast.
Sigmund dies! Let your plague-ridden body feed my fields. Eivor, to me. No sign of Wickman here. He may be hiding within the city walls. Shall we search? No. He'll be gone. Count on it. Argar coward. But we've struck a bold claim today. Walk with me. I want you to sound our battle horn to announce our victory. Let all the Shire know that Grandbridge is retaken. The sound of the horn means prosperity, <laughs> long life, bounty. Why me? Why not? You were the keystone to this attack. You turned the tide. Let the wind from your lungs breathe life back into my city. Tonight, tonight, we feast as good. 
Ah. My clan throws the best feasts, I think you'll find. You enjoy yourself? I did. But were you celebrating or mourning? You looked unsure. The night of the attack, I heard sounds of bloodshed coming from the Longhouse. In moment, the city was overrun with Saxons, so I called a retreat. We all have our one day, but not like that. Not that day. I have heard this before, that the Saxons appeared as if from the shadows. In all my time in Grantbridge, this tunnel was my most careful project. The best kept secret in the city. Now a hundred or more Saxons know the smell of it. The only people who knew about this tunnel were me, and the three in my inner circle. Wickman could have escaped in the chaos of the fight. The city was teeming with my men, posted at all gates. Wigman was shown this tunnel and used it both to enter and escape. By whom? That is where I hesitate. Between Leif, Galen and Birna, I cannot say. But they are the three who helped me dig this in secret. I hoped you might lend me your wits. You are a fresh ally. I could use your eyes and ears. I promised you I'd help secure your city. That task isn't yet done, it seems. Good. I sent Galen, Leif and Birna to destroy what remains of Wigman's power throughout the Shire. Meet with them. Raid with them. Get to know them as best as you can. Find out which of them betrayed me. A betrayal so wicked, I cannot imagine. Yet someone willing to break an oath like that must bear some sign or defect. I need clear, sound judgment. I need you, Eivor. You have me. Thank you. Feel free to take a look around as you wish. Search the city, the tunnel, and here, a gift, for retaking Grandbridge with us. One of the few things I have left from my blood family. The markets are up and running again, so Ma doesn't waste time.
May I see your stores? Is that what you want? Keen, ready for battle. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Until next we meet. What is it you do here again? I buy and sell all manner of items. What's more, I am connected to a wide network of other traders. Meaning I have access to nearly everything you could want. Right here. But I cannot do much of anything if I don't have a place to work. If you can build a place for me, I can get started right away. I'll see you later, friend. Always a pleasure, Eivor. There we are. Nice to have a more permanent spot. Hytham, Ranvi asked me to see you. About finding friends in the cities of England. That's right. London, Jorvik, Winchester. All three are infested by members of the same order to which Kjotve belonged. But their reach extends much further than this. Of all the lands on Earth, I believe England is the most overrun. Do they cause here the same turmoil Kjotve caused in Norway? Not just turmoil. They spread a plague of delusion, teaching men and women to abase and abuse themselves in exchange for power. You have strong feelings about this. Of course. This is the sole purpose of the Hidden Ones, to liberate the body and spirit of man from any unnatural shackles. But we have not operated in England for over four centuries. Since the fall of the Roman Empire, the Hidden Ones have not had a presence here. This absence has given the Order of the Ancients ample room to grow and thrive. Our task will not be an easy one. But with a bureau, Basim and I could begin our work. If you have the time and spare resources to build one, we would be most grateful. I will see what I can do. Raiding is the surest way to find treasures and supplies for building up our settlement. <laughs>
Hello there, friend. Eivor! Eivor! Let's go. Need to row our way out. Sail! Pass the wind! Strike of the tune. Oh! <laughs> 
smash you! Look there! Priest to kill it! Let's go, Viking! over here. with this! Oh! <gasps> 
Come here! This will make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it for as long as you live among us. I believe it will, for we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their claws deep into England. 
Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranvi about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. A gift? I cannot show you here. Will you walk with me? I will. Lead on. I hear a heaviness to your breathing, Hytham. Does your wound still trouble you? It does, I'm afraid. There is a pain in my chest for which I have no remedy. Rest easy, then. So long as your mind stays sharp, you will recover. Of course. Though I am reluctant to displease my mentor. You risk your health and your life to please Basim. That I do not understand. I should not expect you do. When we first arrived, I noted a shadow of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A wariness. Is that a question? No. Only an observation. Are you well enough to steer this boat? I am. Have no worry. It is only prolonged stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly. What is this gift you wish to give me? It will not come from me. It is a gift you must give yourself. For riddles. What fun you are. Let me say it another way. My gift is not for giving or taking. It is a way of living. Still no clearer. It is a thing better demonstrated than described. Then I will wait. Forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. It is one of our Brotherhood's most sacred rites. It is not a tool we use against our enemies, but an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Like your meditation, it centers our minds, steadies our hands, and purges fear from our hearts. And more practically, it aids our movements, in flight or in stealth. You call it a leap, and we're climbing a rather steep hill. <laughs> there it is again, the shadow of a doubt. Nearly there. Our destination is there. I suspect you mean to throw me off this cliff. Is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise? To perform the leap of faith, you must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Believe this, and you will fear nothing. 
Our deaths are prefigured, weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Then your mind is already attuned to my lesson. I will leap first. On my word, you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want me to jump from here? Yes. I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Wait! And watch! Hide them! Hide them! Pig-headed fool! Are you injured? You see, my faith grew stronger than my fear. And that loam cushioned your fall. Eivor, I have not seen this side of you before. Do not feed your fear, conquer it. <sighs> I've seen my death in a vision. It was not here, not today. Perfect fall. And how did it feel? You spoke true. It was madness and vigor and a perching of fear. A gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. And thank you, Eivor, for hearing me out. You called this leap of faith a sacred rite. Do all hidden ones practice this same ritual? As far as I know. It is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would join. But that is not my purpose in England. Basim and I are hunting larger prey. The Order of Ancients. Yes. You remember the medallion you took from Kyotve's body? That is their symbol. They are a plague, one we hope to purge from this world. Like us, they act in secret. But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this order. Sigurd and I want the same, a land to call our own, and the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. The order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan, then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless jarls and bumbling thanes. Yet look more closely, and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. It shapes everything, instilling its poison into every level of society. From the lowliest fishmonger to the richest merchants, from wealthy thanes to useless kings, the Order has corrupted all! Basim has given me one task here. To locate and eliminate the Order of Ancients in England, in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly. You should begin in London. I have credible reports that the Order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Ranvi about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, search them well for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Hytham, for all of this.